Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. This is a Patreon request for Dalton. Thank you so much for that. If anyone wants to request pretty much any type of video, review, movie topic, you either send the request directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. If not, no worries. But if so, thank you so much. Again, PayPal or Patreon, both links are down below in the info box to be for pretty much any type of video. And this is a different type where Dalton asked me to give my thoughts on a YouTube uh, series called Boots to Reboots. And then come to realize it's a guy reviewing movies. And I asked him, I left a message to them, well, how am I supposed to do that? Never got an answer back. So I'm like, okay, I'll do my best. And this is a guy that plays a character that's a mentally... ready for a psychiatric war type of character a lot of times wears bandages a little bit of you know doing skits like nostalgia created all these you know, these guys who do these skits and he'll talk about remake and whether it gets the boot or not good remake bad remake i haven't had a chance to watch all of his videos and that's the thing with it's hard to give thoughts on a YouTube reviewer because just because they share a different opinion doesn't mean they're bad or wrong. We have discussions. A lot of times I do is like, well, I disagree because of this or I agree or I 100% disagree. I Some people take that as offense. That's not my intention. It's to have a conversation. But anyway, that's hard to do in YouTube comments. Back in the day, we used to have messages you, that would help better, but that's the thing with YouTube comments or Facebook, whatever, you don't have inflection, tone, any of that with voices at all. I mean, I'm not big on people doing skits while doing a review. I'm just not. I mean... There are exceptions. For example, I like Cinema Snob, Brad Jones. I like James Wolf, Angry Video Game Nerd. But, and I don't mind their skits sometimes. Although, usually, James Wolf, like his review of Polybius, that was good. Some stuff, like Touches Avenger, that was fucking awful. So it just depends. The stuff he did for Resident Evil Survivor was good. Stuff for, what the fuck was that one? With Gilbert Gottfried, I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. Uh, I'm talking about James Wolf. And then, and then Brad Jones. So the stuff he was doing during his Bigfoot marathon, that was fun. But what I'm getting is that I'm just not a guy. I'm just a guy that usually if I watch a review, I just want to hear the person's take on it and not them playing a character and also with scripted reviews i know that's the preferred version of preferred way of doing it because they want you to repeat your dialogue they don't want you to repeat your thought process they don't want you to stutter they don't want you to stop they don't want you to ever be silent they don't want you to say uh or um mm, or uh or ooh or ooh la la or they don't want you to cough they don't want you to clear your voice to me i'm all for that because it's fucking reality this is not a high-end production i'm not a high-end guy i just see i mean that's not to say one's better one's worse it's personal preference and with skits did i care about the guy's skits this booster reboots guy nah like in the the video I saw just now on his views on the Hitcher remake, he does this skit where he's being crazy during a car chase. Did I find it funny? No. Different strokes for different folks. To each their own. When he got to the review, I agree with a lot of it because I fucking despise the Hitcher remake as well. He talks about how one does not simply replace Rudger Hauer. I agree. Rest in rest in peace Roger Hauer 
He does the joke about hashtag being lives matter. I understand the joke because Sean Bean does die in a lot of movies, but he also lives in quite a few films too, whether it be Flight Plan, Silent Hill, Silent Hill Revelation, Soldiers of Fortune, and more so. But I did, he does die in a lot of movies, but he doesn't die in every movie. There's plenty of movies that he has <laughs> lived in. But I did that. Some of the jokes, again, different people have different tastes. He does a joke where, of course, because it's copying the original, the remake also has Sean Bean going, say, I want to die. And then he has a joke is, I want to die is what Timely Jones says in the mirror every morning. I thought that was really shitty. On the flip side, I'm sure they're at, well, I know there are actors I don't like and I've done shitty jokes as well so I can't really fault the guy for doing that but uh, I like Tommy Jones's actor Great, because he showed a picture it's a bad picture Tommy Jones but I don't know I just I didn't I, that's not really a joke I liked but again it's not my job to like or dislike whatever the hell he wants to say He says one compliment he can give the remake is it gives the female lead a larger role. To me, that's. I hate to say it, that's kind of a bad thing because that's what made the original more unique. That's what made the original more different compared to all the others. But he does admit. Because there's like a huge list that he shows of horror films that has a female lead, like the Chainsaw Master films, Friday 13 films, Elm Street films. So I, at least he does mention that. That was, I, I didn't mind. That was a fun bit. But it's almost like he was downplaying Jennifer Jason Lee's role in the first one, in the original. And I thought it worked for what it was supposed to be. It worked well for what it was supposed to be. And I agree with him. He didn't like the film. He gave it the boot. He said, it's just a carbon copy. I'm like, I agree. It's a carbon copy. He talks about the, the stupid fucking car chase with the closer song. He didn't, he didn't like it, but it was as vitriol as I would have done. Because to me, I'm like, that fucking scene is fucking stupid to put that fucking song in and I like the song closer by Nine Inch Nails but it doesn't it shouldn't be put into that fucking scene I would have put it like the fucking lyrics say I wanna fuck you like an animal yeah during a car chase scene that's the lyrics we should be hearing I wanna fuck you like what is Herbie the fucking car gonna come by and then that his car is gonna turn to the car from their car for Josh Brolin and then try to fuck Herbie in the ass and then that's where you go to foot or maybe it's gonna be like that David Cronenberg film crash where he's going to get a car crash and then he's gonna fuck someone and then they got hot because they got in a car crashes so then those lyrics maybe will fucking pertain to what is going on screen. Anyway. He's done a lot of reboots. Uh, the other one I saw was the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Because that's an upcoming review I'm doing. And he put the boot to that. And I agree. It's... It's a... Uh, well, you'll hear my thoughts on that later. See, that's for me. It's hard to... The guy is obviously very successful. He gets 40... He has 40-some thousand subscribers. When you upload a video, there's a lot of technique, editing. And when he puts up a video, he'll get like 100 comments. Who am I to talk? If I put up a video, I'm lucky if I get four comments. <laughs> Most videos, I get two comments. So it didn't like, what right do I have? Let's be honest, this is no bullshit. What right do I have to say anything about it? 
you throw a rock, you'll hit someone who has a much better constructed videos with editing, production value, microphones. They upload a video, it gets 10,000 hits, and they get like 50, 60 comments. Again, I'm lucky if I get three comments, four comments, if that. Uh, usually they're the same people. I appreciate that. And let's be honest. Number one, the world is going to shit. Number two, they got a lot more important things to do than watch my videos. Number three, I'm not that good. Number four, they got more important shit to do. Number five, I upload a lot of videos because I have to. I just have a lot of stuff to get to. I get a lot of requests because of the Patreon PayPal. And I don't want to keep people waiting. So then I upload a bunch per day. So a lot of stuff get lost. And number six, I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm not finessed. I don't edit. I repeat the same thing over and over again. I get that. And I don't have the most popular opinions. So. Get back to boost the reboots. He found something successful. Played a character that people like. Having bandages and such. Well constructed editing wise. And uh, overall his video on the Hitcher remake I agree with a lot of his thoughts. Again I'm not big into skits. Once the blue moon I, back in the day I did skits. I beat up a fucking moon, a rock for Apollo 18. I got pissed off when I saw the theme prequel and beat the shit out of this cardboard that had a used to have a poster in it but anyway he does fine and he's obviously very successful and I, that's what I mean I that's why I messaged Dalton like I don't know what you really want me to say about it but Hey, if you like to hear people talk about reboots and I did not see all of them, so I don't know his thoughts on the others. There might be films I disagree with. Just there are there are remakes I enjoy. I love the Hills of Eyes remake. I don't think he liked Child's Play remake. I did. I could be wrong on that. I I did not see his video couldn't on that. Just time wise. Couldn't see all of his videos, but hey. Good job, man. Keep doing what you're doing. You're successful. People like what you do. And what is that? I agree with a lot of his points on the Hitcher reboot. I would say I would not follow the guy and watch his other videos. And yeah, just the, the character and the bandages and the skits. Just that for me. A cup of tea. But again. When it stuck to just the review, I thought it was the, the better portion of it. That's just me. With that said, I don't, hope this was all right, Dalton. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.